guys. Smile. Noah, I'll be Niles. Get back and smile. Come on, Niles. and it's how they move up on land. Now a seal is a rather unfortunate creature. They have a fixed hip joint. Means they're not very good up on land, ladies and gentlemen. No seals here at the park, but don't worry, we have the impressionist that is bounty, and he is going to show you instead. <laughs> it's just an overgrown slug, frankly, isn't it? Yeah, it's not great. Now, uh, 
sea lions, they move a little differently. They have a rotating hip joint, they can tuck all four flippers underneath themselves and they can essentially run or gallop across the land. And they're actually faster than any of us here. They can even climb large boulders or conveniently place towers. So let's give a nice big cheer as he jumps in everybody. Not having an audience to cheer him on. So here he is everybody. So once again, just like... Is it not great out there? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason I haven't gone back up there with her. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Callum here, he is a bit of a diva. So if he does do anything cool, anything you like, please do give him a clap, please give him a chin. He genuinely does appreciate it. And if he thinks you're not trying hard enough, you might see this. Yeah. <laughs> That's your cue to give him a bit of a cheer, okay guys? Thank okay. you. Now, with the very lovely Callum, we're going to answer another question that uh, we do feel needs explaining, and it is why we train our sea lions in the first place. Because people think that we train our sea lions for our shows. I know we're sat in a sea lion show, in a sea lion theatre, but there are far more important reasons to do it. The primary reason we do our training is to make sure that our sea lions are nice and fit and healthy. They are large carnivores, they have the intelligence of the average three-year-old. Anyone who has or had three-year-olds will know that you can't turn your back for a second because they get in all sorts of trouble. Sea lions are exactly the same. So we have to keep them working. It is also illegal for us to feed our sea lions live fish. So we have to think of lots of interesting ways to make sure that they are nice and fit and healthy. But this right here is the primary reason we train our sea lions. Although they are in the same category of animal as our lions and tigers, they are class A large carnivores, we can poke their tail. What we're doing now are health checks, and these are very, very important. We can get our sea lions to present different parts of their body, open up their mouths, they are trained to accept eye drops, injections, and we can do all of that completely voluntarily. So there's no restraining, there's no sedation. Restraining is just very stressful for everyone involved. And sedation is actually quite dangerous for sea lions. They don't necessarily always wake up from it. So all of our training means that we can do all our health checks on a voluntary basis. If they want to take part, they can. If they don't, they go to the bottom of the pool and blow bubbles at us for 20 minutes. You try keeping 600 people in their seats whilst that's happening. It's a tough game. Now, uh, the most important thing that our sea lions know is called a lie-out. Wow! You're impressed, right, guys? I know, right? Well, cool. You've all come and watched a sea lion lie out. We joke around, but honestly, this is one of the most important things we train. It is called a lie-out. Us keepers. We stay up near the head, where the pointy teeth are, because we're a bit more expendable, so politely told, do not let the vets get bitten. Seems like a fair request. Now the other reasons for training are a bit more fun. A face bit, skin thinking, keep them active, stop them from getting bored. We have to play games with our sea lions. I know, right? Stop our job. Callum's favourite game in the whole wide world is his basketball. If you are sat down on the front row, just a quick heads up. If he feels like it, he will put this up over the glass. And it is a real basketball, and it does hurt if it hits you in the face. <laughs> if you have a child on your lap, please do not use them as a shield. <laughs> You're laughing, there is a reason I have to say that. <laughs> it did happen. Very awkward. Now things like this may just look like he's having a bit of a fun, a bit of a kick around, so to speak. But as we all know, football does eventually come home, Vicky, doesn't it? She's Scottish, she has loved the last few weeks. <laughs> Not that I take any opportunity to remind her. Anyway, the reason we do that after it is to work out our sea lion's whiskers. 
you ask wisps are incredibly sensitive, so sensitive that if Callum were to go blind, he would still be able to find and manipulate that ball, he would still be able to hunt for fish. He can actually detect the presence of a fish in an area four hours previous. You see, he pushes those whiskers out to help orientate the catch them. target is done in very very small steps we build up to what we want and then we take that target away computers our sea lines a little bit not gonna lie so things like getting into spin round we didn't do the whole shebang straight away we went a quarter turn and a little further a little further a little further until we get what we want but we take that target away and we move it onto something called a cue so we can do that exact same behavior but with a hand gesture instead and this is what our sea lines are looking for Think of it like sea lion sign language. Cues can be really, really obvious. Yeah, he's ignoring you now. <laughs> Don't even need to have the hand gestures. See Vicky spinning around there? Bounty does the same. Don't even. Oh, they're all the same at this point, Vicky. The sea lion is a sea lion right now. Now, uh, Callum, I got it right. Doesn't even have to be uh, us giving the cue, it can be obvious. It's like his basketball. The microphone is nifty there. That works fast on me today. Now, but that's kind of how we train a sea lion. It's a pretty... It's a simple process in theory. It takes a bit of patience, a bit of practice. I said in theory, Vicky. Parents, you can use it on children. Children, if you have understood anything I've said, you can use it on parents. Just don't use fish as a reward, guys. You'll get nowhere. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what we are going to do there is we are going to start to wrap things up. But before we do finish it, we are going to let Callum show off, because frankly, that is what he is best at. So, Callum, the stage is yours. What have you got for us? Now, Vicky has chosen this because she is hoping so badly that Callum pulls her in. Here we go. There is a genuine fear with that one, ladies and gentlemen, that he does pull us in, but on days like this, we all kind of want that to happen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that does bring us to the end of our show, so thank you very, very much for sticking it out, sticking the sun out as well. If you have any questions, go to the link and we'll be around. I will also open up the gates on this side of the theatre if you want a little bit of a quick reference. Thank you very much for coming along, and enjoy the rest of your day here at Western and Safari Park. Take a good look at this zebra. And then take a good look at the zebra in front. Because they're both facing opposite directions. My next question is, which side of a zebra has the most stripes? One was looking that way, one was looking that way. You should take them away. The right side. The outside. <laughs> That's the level. Right there. Can you see the boys? Look. Oh, he's looking at you. Too much noise. If your baby was crying now, the one that was crying earlier, okay, it's happened to me once before. Female lionesses or lionesses are extremely maternal. And I've actually had them come right up the vehicle and look in because they've heard a baby crying. And they've got that maternal instinct, but they think there's an animal in distress. So I don't advise you to shake it now. So we've got three boys in here and the rest are all the females. The boys like to think they're in charge. But actually the females are all the rooster. Yeah. That'll do. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Yeah. They all look exactly the same as that.
after the road was like six weeks old. So you can see the big differences already. No, I shush. Tigers are actually solitary animals, so even though they're brothers, they fight because they want the territory. No, but we've got one that's got three humps. <laughs> He's called Humphrey. <laughs> no. And then the compartment behind her is her son. Now his son is at the age where he would leave the pro the pack, sorry, the herd. This is Five, by the way. Her name is Five. When she arrived here, she has a great number of five written on it. She's about 33, 34 years old. In the wild, elephants can live to about 75. You can tell she's an African elephant. Actually, if you look at her ears, her ears actually look like the continent of Africa. Kip, 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 kip. Don't touch it! I think that's it. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, I already feed it. You already fed it. Do you want to do it again? Do you want to do it again? Yeah. Come on then. Does anybody at the back want to come down? Anybody at the back? Not slob. Is there anybody at the back that wants to come down to the front of me? Niles, you want to have a go? No. No. No, but